Hey, this is Mark Coots again here at Teva Corporation. Just thought I'd give you a little information today about biologicals. You know, there's been a lot of, a lot of things come out about biologicals over the last few years, whether it's in inoculants or whether it's liquids that are out there and the different things like that. And this is something that has been uh, near and dear to my heart. So we've been at it for, you know, our company's been in business for 35 years and we started off looking at biologicals and doing that kind of things, guys. So there's just a few things I want to talk to you about, about when you're looking at biologicals, you know, what you can expect, what you need to think about when you're looking at them and things like that. So, um, because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of biologicals out there. When I started back in 1979 with my dad, there was maybe only five or six companies, you know, doing biological products. And now there's hundreds of them, you know, uh, that, that are coming out there. And so how do we know as a farmer, you know, if what we're getting is what we're, what we're really wanting. And the, there's a couple things that you can look at, you know, just to start off with, you know, the, there's all kinds of different biologicals out there. So, you know, you want to find out what kind of bacteria that they're using in there. Are they using beneficial fungi? Are they using uh, spore forms? Are they doing things like that? You know, what kind of bacteria are they actually using? You know, are they using nitrogen fixing bacteria? Are they using bacteria that that uh, help break down residue in the soil, different things like that. There's all kinds of different things and it can get very confusing to a farmer and to me, to be honest with you. I mean, there's so many things. Uh, one example of the bacillus family of bacteria, there's so many strands of them that, that I can't keep them track. So, you know, everybody has a bacillus of this or a zodobacter of that or, or whatever. And there's so many strands, it's just, it's so hard to keep them straight. So. The thing that I would tell you about when you're looking at biologicals, just remember this. Remember that they are, they're mobile in the soil with moisture. They need moisture in the soil to be working. Um, they live in the soil, they're soil bacteria. They are natural to our soil. So it's a matter of basically what we're doing is just trying to reinforce the troops. You know, you've got biological in your soil right now. And by adding more bacteria, all we're trying to do is, you know, just give them some extra troops along to help battle out what's going on in there. So when you're looking at these products on which ones to buy and which ones not to, the things that I would tell you to look for is what kind of bacteria do they have in the product? Are they guaranteeing it on the label? So if you're buying a biological product, it should be guaranteed on the label of what bacteria is in that jug, okay? And if it's not guaranteed on the label, then how do you know for sure that bacteria is in there? And what it'll come out to be, it'll be, it'll say so many CFUs per milliliter, colony forming units per milliliter of liquid is what it is what you want. So the more bacteria you have, the better the product is. So the more of a, of a number that you have, let's say it's, you've got uh, bacillus subtilis and they've got, um, eight times uh, 10 to the ninth of CFUs per mil. That's an astronomical high of bacteria count. That's good. So, you know, it's just a numbers game on that. So whenever you're looking at a biological, you want to see how many they have in there and actually the plate count that they're doing. You'd be amazed how many biologicals out there. You may be only adding 20 or 30,000 bacteria per, per milliliter, that, which is very, very low. So you want it to be guaranteed on the label and everything. So. We work with a company that, you know, one of theirs is called Crop Pro, and it right on the label, it's got 15 different bacteria labeled there, and it tells you exactly what the CFUs for each one of them are and what they guarantee that's going to be in that product, and that's what you want. Um, so that's on any kind of liquid uh, product, even dry. So if you look at your inoculants that you go to inoculate your soybeans with or your alfalfa, we're even inoculating corn now and rice and different things like that, and it definitely has its merits. There's been a lot of research done down in the University of Arkansas on using inoculants, and especially for late season beans and stuff. Um, those inoculants, they should guarantee what's on the, you know, what's in that uh, packet when you're uh, treating your seed with it. You know, there are certain companies out there that will have, you know, maybe the same trachoderma strand, which is a beneficial fungi for every crop, whether you're using it on soybeans or corn or cotton or whatever you may be, you know, inoculating with. Um, and there's other companies, we use a company called ABM that have specific trachoderma strands for specific crops, you know. And so, you know, you want certain kinds of bacteria 
for certain kind of crops. You know, in soybeans, obviously, you're going to want nitrogen fixing bacteria, you know, to help the nodulation and things like that. So, um, you know, those are things to think about, you know, uh, look at what kind of trachoderma, what kind of beneficial bacteria that they've got in there also when you're looking at those inoculants. Most of them are very easy to use. They're in a powder form. You put them right in your planter boxes, uh, you know, and it treats the seed for you. And, um, you know, and they're easy to use. And normally you're going to get well worth your return on investment, you know, by using inoculant, you know, on any of those crops, whether it's, you know, we traditionally only think about them as soybeans or, or maybe alfalfa and things like that. But there, there's very good data on doing corn, cotton, rice, you know, whatever it may be now.